Welcome back to Tipsy Whiskey Shenanigans. I'm Steven and today, tonight, whenever the heck you're watching this video, we are getting into a bottle that I have been waiting about a month and a half excitedly for to hit my area. And it finally did, so we're doing a review for it and that is Barrel Vantage. Before we get in today's review, please do us a favor, as always, like, comment, subscribe. That truly does help us out a ton and we appreciate the support. Like seriously, it, it really does. Like truly, truly does actually help us out. So thank you. But let's get into that review. So before we get into this specific bottle, I wanted to talk a little bit about Barrel as a whole. Barrel has been a company for me, at least my personal experience with Barrel. It's changed dramatically in the past. At first I was like, wow, okay, they're just sourcing, blending. Like how are they charging $90 for this bourbon? And it's just okay. Cause I've had some releases like the, the 2022 New Year's edition where I was like, it's okay. I would be happy to pay like 60 bucks for it, but like 90, I'm like, no, get, get your hands away from me. But the thing I've learned that they do fantastic is sourcing and doing weird experimental crazy crap. Seagrass, Dovetail, some of the most interesting and exciting whiskeys I've tried and they've done it again, kind of. I mean, th this one's not as wild as those two, but this is like 2022's Barrel Seagrass, maybe. Blend of straight bourbon whiskeys finished in Mizanara French and toasted American oak. So it's a bunch of different oak finishings, kind of like the Makers 46, but like barrel doing it. And it's not a weeded bourbon. So it is distilled in Indiana, Tennessee, and Kentucky. So that means they source from MGP. Tennessee, I'm assuming is good old dickle. And then Kentucky, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. And it's like $90. But for those of you who do not know what the Mizunara, I'm probably butchering that. Um, that wood is, I believe it's like a Japanese oak and it's a tree that like when it grows, it spirals. So like unlike American oak, it's not like easy to cut down and turn into barrels. It spirals and stuff. So it's it's difficult to turn into barrels and it's supposedly supposed to be some like next level new gen type cast to finish in because it is so difficult to actually turn into barrels. This is gonna be the first product I'm having that even has that on the label, so I don't really know what it does or what it changes, but I'm excited to get into it. So let's go ahead and get into this on the nose. Okay. It's toasty. Brown sugars, caramels. This is the first whiskey of the day and I was expecting it to jump out at me a lot more, but it's not, it's not aggressive at all. It's very toasty. Dickel note in there. It's like a little like crispy orange, crisp toasted orange. Ooh, like um, like when you, the smell when you're making an old fashioned and you light the orange zest um, as you like essence it or whatever the heck that's called all over the old fashioned. That's exactly what it smells like. Brown sugar, caramels, toasted marshmallows. Yeah, it's a mix of like, oh, setting. You're at a campfire. You're making s'mores, cause it's very s'moresy, you know, toasted stuff. And then you got some orange, you zest it over and you light it. You like kind of do the little flambe, whatever orange zest all over it. It gets like nice little orangey s'mores. But instead of using like a dark, heavy chocolate, it's more of like a white chocolate because it's not very like chocolatey. It's more like fake artificial white chocolate sweetness. And that brown sugar is nice. Brown sugar, toasted oak, maybe like some graham cracker and some cinnamon. She, she get a little spicy in there as well. I mean, I like it. I like it a lot. I'm, I'm enjoying that orange note. So, Usually I'm not a huge fan of the dickle, 
Um, but there's like a slightly like weird toasted kind of like orange zesty note in there that I'm attributing to like kind of like the dickel minerality orange thing or well like I'm attributing that's where that's coming from but I'm liking it I'm digging it let's go ahead and get on the palette okay so going in from the nose I was expecting more dark flavors but it's like bright and vibrant it like it's super floral Super floral, nice toasted oak. Still getting that like orange note. That orange zesty note is in there and it's all the way through. I'm talking like nose, start of the palette, mid palette, all the way to the finish. It is there. It is orange, it's floral, orange zest, a nice toasted oak, some marshmallow. Ooh, I like it. It lingers a little bit. Not too, too long. I would say it has like a moderately long finish. And now that I'm going back from the palette onto the nose, it's getting a little bit more floral, a little bit less dark and dense. I mean, it's also been sitting in the glass a little bit longer. So you're gonna see that it's gonna evolve over time, but a little bit more brighter floral. Yeah, it's, it's I love that bright orange note. Like that's the most dominating note. I. On the palette, I would have expected this to be a lot more toasty, a lot more oak forward, but it's honestly super bright, vibrant, floral, nice little citrus note. I bet this would go in a killer old fashioned. A little expensive to be put in an old fashioned for me, but I think it would kill it. A little bit orange bitters in there as well. That's nice. Floral, citrus, nice like creme brulee, little bit of like a toasted marshmallow little bit of oak, nothing weird or like kind of sharp. It's just really well put together. I like this. I like this a lot. This might be my favorite release as of yet for 2022. I, that being said, that's from a guy who has like maybe like six of the releases that have come out this year. So I'm kind of limited on those, but I like it. It It's so bright and floral and citrusy, but it also has a nice balance of like, toasted oak that like toasted marshmallow nice sweetness and nice like a little bit of like cinnamon spice in there as well like this is really well balanced it obviously leans a little bit more floral and citrusy but overall very very well balanced nice sipper the proof point is like perfect i mean recently i've been kind of a sucker for like 110s so this being 114 it fits perfectly in that range like it there's nothing aggressive i don't feel like it's missing anything it's just it's enjoyable it's it's real good i like it a lot so i guess to sum it up in general overall i'm a buy on this one do i love spending 90 on a bourbon no not at all but i think this is well worth the money i'm a buy i don't know if i'm a bunker it and stash it and hide it away and like be like, oh no, there's no more here because you have your whole cart full. But I'm for sure a buy on it. Buy like one, maybe two, kind of see how you like it. Is it as exciting as seagrass and dovetail? No, not really. I think I might actually like it a little bit better than dovetail. Seagrass is on another plane for me. I know a lot of people are kind of indifferent about seagrass, but that's like, that's just somewhere else for me. I, I don't know what they did with that. That just made it like so wild, but it is so fun and so wild. And I freaking love that bottle. Um, this, it's a little bit more traditional, a little bit more up a typical bourbon route. It's a nice mix of, this is what I would feel like a, kind of like a toasted Four Roses would be. Like a Four Roses double oaked bourbon. I know that doesn't exist, but this is what it kind of reminds me of or what that would be like. That's a wrap for this video. Please, please let me know down there below what you guys thought about this review. Let me know what you guys think about this bottle. Let me know if you think my analogy about the toasted four roses is right or if you have a better analogy. I don't know how to describe this as well, but I think it's freaking awesome. Also, check out the Facebook, Instagram, and the Patreon. The links for all that stuff are down there below as well. That's a wrap for this video. Cheers. We'll see you later.